Hello everyone. Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. I am your host and we are yet in another week of June. I hope you all are excited as I am. June has so much going on. First of all, June 2nd was International Sex Workers Day. Let me tell you, I had a wonderful, wonderful June 2nd. I did not come and do any uh, filming. I, I wasn't at the store. This was basically a day to celebrate me and all of the hard work that I put in. And the first phone call I got that morning was daddy. And he said, what do you want me to cook for you today? So we went through what he had and we decided on steak and potatoes. So I went over, um, I got there. It was a beautiful day. We decided to sunbathe. So we were just basically nude outside. Um, we just had a wonderful, wonderful June 2nd. The food was delicious. Um, I just had a great day and I was basically being catered to and pampered all day long to the point where I was like, I am exhausted. I went and got me some electrolytes to try to replenish fluids and all of this kind of stuff because Saturday was our date night. Um, we went to New Orleans. We had a great time at Colette's. Um, for all of my people who have never been to a lifestyle club, I urge you to just include it in a date night. Meaning don't go with the idea that you have to perform, that you have to uh, participate. You don't have to feel pressured. You can literally just go to be able to scope out the environment. If that's the type of stuff that you're into. Most times when people are following platforms like this, a lot of times they have an interest in sexual health and wellness. They have an interest in learning about different things. Even if they're not partaking, they have an interest in learning about it. Um, I was at the uh, club and one of my followers saw me and he walked up and he was like, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge. <laughs> and I was like, yes, Baton Rouge. He was like, oh my God. Um, he was like, real talk, I put you up there with Boosie. Like, when I think of Baton Rouge, I think of, I think of you and I think of Lil Boosie. <laughs> and I was like, that's big to put me up there with Lil Boosie, but you know, thank you. <laughs> but, um, we actually went to New Orleans to call it for what's called a sex expedition. Um, the King community that I'm a part of, we have something called sex expeditions, and that is field trips to local adult venues, whether it be swingers clubs, whether it be nudist resorts, whether it be um, uh, what else? What else? Gonna say naturist uh, events, just like this Saturday is the naked bike ride. And I'm so excited about that because I just got the phone call this morning from Stars, and they're actually coming down. The person I have been talking to for the last week or so, Crystal, Crystal is actually going to come down. She's producing it. I'm going to get to meet Crystal. I've been talking to her for like almost the last month and a half, maybe two months, um, and I'm finally going to get to meet her, and she's going to be producing the um, segment, episode, whatever you want to call it with me being in New Orleans at the Naked Bike Ride with my friends who a lot of them are naturists, meaning that they enjoy being nude in nature. Um, so this is gonna be awesome because this is a worldwide event. People come from all over the world to go to the New Orleans Naked Bike Ride. I will be a part of that this Saturday and stars will be there to actually film it. So I'm excited about that. Um, so let's get into it, let's get into it. New products. So, when you're putting a scene together, um, one of the first things that I like to tell people is figure out what you want to wear, figure out what type of playlist you want to have. A scene is basically when you're deciding to put, put together something. It doesn't have to be scripted, but we know that it has a beginning and, it, and we know that it has an end. It's supposed to begin a certain way and then we're going to wrap it up and we're going to end in a certain way. That's pretty much all the scene is. Sometimes, Sex is in a scene, sometimes it's just play, and no sex is in a scene. It, it doesn't matter, it just depends on what you and your partner decide on. So when I think about a scene, I think about what I'm gonna wear, and I think about what music is gonna be playing. Anytime that I'm putting a scene together, 
it, I have a vision of how I want it to look because I want it to be different every time. When I'm being intimate with my man, one of the things that I really enjoy about our sex life is we both put forth effort into the creativity. So a lot of times when I'm coming and I'm introducing something new, he doesn't necessarily know it. When he's introducing something new, like he did on June 2nd, where he blindfolded me and we, he did this card game and was reading off questions and stimulating me at certain points and all of this, like I, I had no idea that that was gonna happen. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and I'm gonna get the name of that game that uh, he was playing because he, within two hours, he literally went through all the cards and we were taking drinks in between and all kind of stuff, but we really enjoyed it. Um, but all of those things are considered to be a scene, meaning that it starts and then it has a period where it ends, right? That would be the conclusion of the scene. Um, when I'm doing scenes, I like to wear what would be considered kink attire. Um, it would be something like this. You see that? I love anything that's gonna, my thighs are really big. Well, they're not big as they used to be. Um, but my thighs are like the biggest part of my body, right? So I like anything that brings attention to my thighs because my thighs are big and my legs are big. And to me, that's more of the curvier part of my body. So of course, this is super stretchy. This will fit, um, it, it will go up to a size 3X, 4X. That's what it'll stretch out to. Now the thing about it is I'm now on the low, I'm on the kind of low end of the plus size. I'm really like, to be honest with you, I almost can't fit it. Meaning that the elastic is fitting around my legs, but it ain't even got a stretch at this point. So if I lose any more, which I told Emerson and Jason both this morning, I can't lose another pound because I'm to the point where even the clothes that I have now starting not to fit the way I like them to fit. So um, I like this because again, it has the garters on the legs. This is on the website as well. And it is crotchless, meaning that when I'm doing the scene, I don't have to take this off. I can actually keep it on. I can actually still feel sexy in the midst of it. And if my partner decides that they want to start removing pieces of it or removing the shoulders so my breasts can be exposed or whatever, they can do that. But I still kind of have something on to feel covered. And I just think that it's super sexy when you still have the pieces of the lingerie on. Why you have it sexy? It gives texture to the body. It gives something to be able to work hold to. And that's just me. I enjoy that, right? So this will be my attire. Of course, my playlist is gonna consist of all types of music. Like, um, it's gotta have some tank on there. It's gonna definitely start off with I See You by Coco. What her name is, Jones, Coco Jones? That's the trendy song right now. Um, it's gonna have stuff like that on there. So um, that is the type of music that I would love to have on my during my scene. The next thing that we would have for this particular scene that I'm planning in my mind would be a spreader bar. Spreader bars are different, okay? I have one, I didn't even bring it. I wasn't thinking because I was just at Daddy's house before I came here. Um, but the one that we have is one that is adjustable, means that it locks in and it lets all the way out, right? Well, these are ones, they're not necessarily adjustable, but they do get the job done. This is a spreader bar, and I want to get the glare off of there. This is the bar, and this part will go on the, each ankle. You have one on each ankle, right? So what's the purpose? You're going to put it on the ankles, and guess what? You're going to lift that person up by the bar. That means when you're being intimate with them, you're actually holding on to the bar. You're able to thrust and different things like that, and you have the bar to hold on to there to give you leverage, right? If you're a person that is like me who travels, who's on the go, then you want a, a spreader bar that you can actually take apart and you can pack. So we have, this is the bar, again, used to be able to pull up, hold, grip, turn the person. And then we have the Velcro, let's see. And you put this on the ankles and then you're gonna connect this part to the bar, like this. and you make it adjustable. So it'll be like that. This is a smaller one, but it still gets the job done. I do have spreader bars on my website. Um, they are on sale right now, www.thepppgstore.com. Uh, the one that I have on sale is the one similar to the one that I have, where you can actually lock up 
the ankles and the wrist. So that's the one that I have on sale on my website. And that one is completely Velcro, but it all serves the same purpose. And that is, they are great when you're trying to put a scene together. Um, it's like, I, I like to give these videos, I think it's a little different for me because even though I have, uh, I have the permission to be able to talk about my sex life, um, some things I just still want to keep for us. So when I'm talking about it, it's like, yes, I want to be able to give the information, but some things I do want to keep for us, if that makes any sense. But just know that if you saw Fifty Shades of Grey and you saw Christian with the spreader bar and he had Anastasia and then he took it and he slipped it and her whole body flew with it, yeah, it's up. You're going to enjoy the spreader bar. So go onto the website and order. Um, we are still in transition, like we're in a transitioning phase with the store. Um, the store is not open for customers right now. The only thing we're doing is processing online orders. Um, we are preparing for a few more classes that we're going to host. Um, but as far as the retail side of it, you have to go online now. Everything we're doing is online. We are transitioning so that by July 1st, we are completely online. Um, if y'all have any questions, concerns, comments, please send an email to onlyonepg at gmail.com. Once we get everything situated with uh, the orders online and getting transitioned over, I will let you know when the mobile service will start, meaning that you can actually put your order in. I will give you a discount if you're paying in cash um, or if you want to pay through cash app or just however you want to do it. Um, your orders can be personally delivered to you. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be the person always doing the delivering because I'm trying to actually get with some of the delivery companies like uh, Uber and Lyft because they are actually doing um, where they're transporting for regular businesses now. I just have to get all of this set up. But up until then, uh, I will be the one that will be delivering the products. Now, let me say this. I will be meeting you at a public place, okay? Like, we ain't we're not about to be on no foolishness. You're going to meet me at a public place, all right? Because, yeah, not unless it's somebody that I know. Like, if it's people that have been doing business with me forever, I will bring it to your house. But other than that, or I will send somebody with it to your house. But other than that, we meet in at public places to get these toys on wheels rolling. Um, and other than that, you know, any other public place can be your job. Like, I can come on your lunch break and bring it. Of course, it'll be in a gift bag. Nobody would know what it is. The only way they'll know what it is is if they see my ass and be like, oh, what's Sharonda doing here? And then all of a sudden, I ask the conversation that you got to have. But if you don't want to have that conversation, then go on the website, order. It will come to your uh, front door in a UPS, uh, USPS package, United States Postal Service. It will come in one of those packages, okay? I think that is about it. We're going to wrap it up again. I'm super excited about um, Naked Bike Ride. My weekend was full as usual. Um, like I said, Friday, I was just basically catered to all day. It has been, I'm going to be honest, sometimes you don't necessarily know what you have or what you missed or whatever. Because when I was in my marriage, I was the one that was more so on the catering side, constantly giving and giving and giving. But this time, I'm able to get a lot of reciprocity. Um, and I wouldn't trade that for the world. I have never been catered to and asked so much in my life. Am I good? Is there anything that I need? Um, what is it that I can do for you? What can I do? What, like, and I'm not saying that, that my ex didn't have his strengths because when it came down to certain things, he did great, but this place that I'm in, like I was happy in my marriage, I was happy with my family, but this level of happiness, this newfound happiness that I'm experiencing right now in my life, this is this is top tier, like seriously. Like I am being catered to on a level that I have never experienced in my entire life. And I'm loving it over here. Like I'm, I'm really loving it. Like I couldn't ask for anything more, seriously. Um, I'm good, my kids good, like everything good. So again, we are transitioning to online full time. Um, get those orders in. Uh, the one thing that we are working on is making sure that we're getting those orders out in a timely manner. Uh, I'm doing updates to the inventory online so that what we have online is matching what we actually have in stock. 
Because what the problem that I have ran into that I'm that I'm seeing is certain things we put on there because it's, we know that we can get it all the time. I honestly feel like the warehouse has a lot of theft going on, but that ain't my business. Um, what happens is they're saying that they have a certain amount of inventory in stock. You're ordering a certain amount of inventory, and then you're having to wait on them to get it in because what they thought they had in stock, they actually don't have in stock. So that means that it's slowing my process down because they don't have the things in stock that they're saying that they have in stock. So it just kind of slows everything down. So I want to get on the side of it to where I'm ahead of it, to where I actually have product on hand and my website represents what we actually have on hand, not necessarily what the warehouse says that they have on hand. And that will kind of smooth out a lot of the kinks, I do believe. But for those of y'all that have been supporting me and who have uh, continued to order online, thank you. Um, there is another sale still going on online. We celebrated 14 years of business this month. There is a sale if you type in anniversary in the search bar because I hadn't removed the check. Um, and the sale actually started Friday. Uh, if you type in the word anniversary in the search bar, you'll get a female honey, a male honey, and a silver bullet for $14. Because we're celebrating 14 years in business. How do you keep up with it, Sharonda? By Madison's age. In other words, I know the June, whatever month we in is June, Madison 14, then that's how many years the business is. She'll be 15 in August because she was almost a year old when I started this. When she was just starting to walk and all of this, so I'm able to keep up with it by Madison's age. That's when the business started. I was looking at old pictures where my kids had on shirts that say my mama does those parties and all kind of stuff. We had the children marketing and, and all this kind of stuff at the Southern Homecoming parades. Like we went to the parades with PPG shirts on and it, it's so funny because I'm gonna actually find that picture and put it to the end of this video where my ex-husband and the kids and uh, my cousin's kids, all of them was just in shirts representing the business, but we hadn't even came up with an official logo yet. We had, we just knew that we was, we were selling products and we had everybody marketing, even the children. So I'm gonna find that picture and I'm gonna put it to the end of this video. Um, but when I think about it, I'm like, man, like it has been a great 14 years. Literally this started off as a side hustle while I was teaching school and it blew up to be this. And now we're transitioning to an actual warehouse and it's like, man, you just, I, you wouldn't have known that this is what it would be. A few years ago, um, right before COVID, I remember talking to my ex-husband, I was like, I really want a warehouse. Like online is where it's at. Like I see the trend and I see the way things are going and everybody's shopping online. COVID happened and people started using the website and it was just beautiful. When I say beautiful, beautiful. Like I was like, okay, this let me know that Baton Rouge don't have to be my market. Of course, Baton Rouge is my market, but New Orleans don't have to be my market. The world can be my market. So when I'm talking to other people who are business owners, who have small businesses, my thing is get you a website because if you have a website, then you don't have boundaries put in place. You ain't gotta be arguing with the other little boutique that's on the same street with you because y'all kind of got the same thing going on. No, get you a website and you can market to the world. And you don't have to have the limitations of, of just what a store can do. And don't get me wrong, it was hard for me to make the decision not to renew my lease because I've been so attached to my store. But what I know is if I want to grow in a certain way, I have to let one thing go and go in the direction of what I see is currently working. And that is online because people are shopping online right now. Nobody's really coming into stores anymore. People getting off from work and they're going home. They're not stopping here and stopping there. COVID, I don't want to say it made us lazy, but you know, we ain't got to go to the grocery store no more. We don't have to go to, we don't have to go to any store if we don't want to. Literally everything can come to our home. So that's that's just the way the world is working right now. And PPG, just like all of the other stores, we're transitioning as well. So just go through the process with us. Of course, you're going to continue to see me here on YouTube. You'll continue to see me on Facebook. You'll continue to see me on Instagram. On Instagram, you'll see I'm talking a lot about body positivity and all of this kind of stuff. Um, you know, some of my Instagram stuff is kind of edgy, but it's purpose and everything. It's purpose and everything. So, you know, continue to follow the platform, continue to support your girl, and y'all be good.